All right, so in this problem, I have 500 to the power of 500 over 250 to the power of 250. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite my exponent 500 here as 250 plus 250. So now I have 500 to the power of 250 plus 250. And now I have this over simply 250 to the power of 250. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 500 to the power of 250 plus 250, and that's equal to 500 to the power of 250 times 500 to the power of 250. And now I have this over 250 to the power of 250. Now, this is the same thing as 500 to the power of 250 times 500 to the power of 250 over 250 to the power of 250. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. So in this case, 500 to the power of 250 over 250 to the power of 250, we can rewrite that as 500 over 250 to the power of 250. And 500 over 250, that's simply equal to 2. So I find 500 to the power of 250 times 2 to the power of 250. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 500 to the power of 250 times 2 to the power of 250. Uh, sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is simply equal to a times b to the power of m. So 500 to the power of 250 times 2 to the power of 250, this is equal to 500 times 2 to the power of 250. And 500 times 2 is 1,000, so I have 1,000 to the power of 250. Now 1,000, this is the same thing as 100 to the power of 3. Or sorry, 10 to the power of 3. So now I have 10 to the power of 3 to the power of 250. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 3 to the power of 250, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 3 times 250, which is simply 10 to the power of 750. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 40 to the power of 40 over 20 to the power of 20. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first rewrite my exponent 40 here as 40 to the power of 20 plus 20. So I rewrote 40 as 20 plus 20. So now I have 40 to the power of 20 plus 20 over 20 to the power of 20. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, I have 40 to the power of 20 plus 20. So this is the same thing as 40 to the power of 20 times, again, 40 to the power of 20. Both my exponents are the same, so these two are going to be the same as well. And now I have this over 20 to the power of 20. Now, I can actually take one of these 40 out of 20s outside of this fraction. So I can rewrite this as 40 to the power of 20 times 40 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 20. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. In this case, a is equal to 40, b is equal to 20, and m is 20 as well. 
So, 40 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 20. You can write this as a over b to the power of m. a is 40 over b is 20, and m is 20 as well. So I have 40 to the power of 20 times 40 over 20 to the power of 20. Now 40 divided by 20, that's simply equal to 2. So now I have 40 to the power of 20 times 2 to the power of 20. Now, remember, if I have something in form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So 40 to the power of 20 times 2 to the power of 20, that's going to equal 40 times 2 to the power of 20. 40 times 2 is 80, so now I have 80 to the power of 20, so this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10. And I actually have four answer choices for this problem. So for answer choice A, I have 27 to the power of 30. For answer choice B, I have 9 to the power of 30. For answer choice C, I have 27 to the power of 10. And finally, for answer choice D, I have 3 to the power of 21. So we want to figure out which one of these answer choices is the correct answer to this problem. So let's go ahead and test out each of the methods used to solve out these problems and figure out which one is right. So for 27 to the power of 30, how you obtain this solution is you simply add all of the bases and the exponents. So the bases are all 9, so you do 9 plus 9 plus 9 to the power of, and the exponents are 10. So you do 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is equal to 9 plus 9 plus 9 is the same thing as 9 times 3, which is 27. And 10 plus 10 plus 10 is the same thing as 10 times 3, which is 30. So you get 27 to the power of 3 using this method, or sorry, 27 to the power of 30 using this method. However, this method is actually wrong. This is not the right way of adding exponents. You can't just add the bases and add the exponents. Now, for the second way, what you have to do to get this is you actually, this time, you keep the base the same and you simply just add the exponents. You do, so you do 9 to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10. Now, this is equal to 9 to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10. Again, that's the same thing as 10 times 3, which is 30. And again, this method is wrong as well. That's not the correct way of adding exponents. So now for the third method, C, what you have to do to get this is this time you add the bases and keep the x one the same. So you do 9 plus 9 plus 9 to the power of 10. And this is the same thing as 9 plus 9 plus 9 is the same thing as 9 times 3, which is 27. So you have 27 to the power of 10. And this method is wrong as well. That's not the right way to add exponents. Finally, we have D. And to get this, the first thing you do is you can write this as 3 times 9 to the power of 10. Because 9 to the power of 10 plus itself 3 times. Now, 9 to the power of 10, we, that's the same thing as 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 10. Because... 9 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 10, that's equal to 3 to the power of 2 times 10, which is the same thing as 3 to the power of 20. So now I have 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 20, and this is equal to 3 to the power of 21. And this is actually the correct way of solving this problem. So the right answer is D.